All right, everybody, it's early morning. There's no wind, there is sun. Let's do some speed runs and see what this thing's got. Oh. All right, first thing. We are going to auto-tune. Let's put this girl in manual and let's see what we got here. We're going to go to 40% throttle. So we're doing about 55. Let's get this thing in a, just a good amperage here. Boom, on rails. All right. Let's go ahead and give her the old stabby stab. We're gonna crank it up. All right, kind of about 37 amps. See how fast it goes. <laughs> We're like right at 90 something mile an hour. The battery, woo! There we go, dudes. Right at that 100 mile an hour mark. Let's bring this thing back down a little bit. We are gonna do some car following. I'm gonna do something crazy. I'm gonna do that. <laughs> Damn, this thing just turns and burns, dude. I'm just rocking here at like 15 amps. goggles not a big fan of these goggles to fitment big fan of the OSD and the clarity of the screens man this thing is so much fun to fly before we do some sh I'm just gonna mess around here finally got a nice day we're gonna go low and slow baby This thing pretty much does whatever it wants to do. I'm cruising at just 70 like a boss. There's a lot of power for this little plane. I'm gonna say hi to myself. Zoom. Climb, climb, climb. Then it just, I mean, I just climb straight up. It doesn't matter. It does not matter. It just climbs. rips super fun underneath the telephone poles Mess with this guy here a little bit. Yeah, he's probably like, what the heck, dude? Seriously. Woo, lost my shit for a second. 
Ho ho ho, return to home, my savior. Oh, that scared the piss out of me. Woo! Woo! I think this thing's been in just way too many accidents and it's gonna need another, uh, I think I need a new antenna on this thing. I'm pretty sure I just had it low and I'm in my car. I don't know, but that's definitely scared the piss out of me. She definitely needs a lot of speed. So right now I'm hovering at like 32 mile an hour. I feel like that's the, that's a good, safe, slow speed for this. Bird likes to be drove fast. Ah, oh, we definitely got some wind, that's for sure. Damn, I keep missing that landing. Woo! That was awesome. And there we go, kids. Disarm. All right, hope you guys enjoyed that. That was awesome. Plane, flying like crazy. Handles great. It's a joy to fly it in like normal winds. Also having my OSD on the screen, that's pretty sick. Uh, that is that is actually really nice to have, be able to record your OSD, especially looking back and seeing like what all the values were and and everything else. Uh, plane stayed nice and cool. The ESC stayed nice and cool. The IMU, the the flight controller temps were awesome. Plane did great. Uh, top speed was around 97 uh, with this current setup, but that's just like I'm just at the beginning of my top speed. I am using a lithium ion battery. For me, I'd rather have the longer flight times versus just an all out top speed, measure my dick burst. Um, don't get me wrong, we're still gonna measure that in another video, but with this, I wanna see, you know, with a normal battery I'm gonna use every day, what kind of top speeds I'm gonna have, you know, and hovering at 100 mile an hour is perfect, absolutely perfect. You'll see in the video, my, my cell voltage got way down below three volts or right at three volts below it. You know, of course I was still in my safe amperage discharge, but as that voltage drops, I'm, I have voltage sag. So I'm losing that top speed. If that thing was to still maintain that extra, you know, they were still at three and a half volts per cell, you know, that's quite a bit more motor RPM that I would have. So I'm gonna be, purchasing a LiPo, like an 1800 milliamp 6S LiPo, to where I can just run this thing wide open, don't have to worry about voltage sag, and we're gonna be in the 145 mile an hour speed, I think. Hopefully, the plane holds together. Um, I have no idea, like, if these, if the wings will come apart, the foam's gonna rip up, overpower the servo, servos. These are the stock servos in this thing, so I have no idea. So hopefully it just doesn't grenade across the sky like the Dark Star did in Top Gun. Kaboom! I'm gonna be shooting some more videos. I have some five inch props for this to see if that makes a difference. Maybe speed, efficiency, cruising. I have no idea, but that's gonna come. Uh, if you're watching this video for the first time, this is my first videos, and you're wondering like what my setup is, Look back at my channel. I got tons of videos on just the 6S setup, how I made the dual engines. You just gotta go through my channel. Make sure you're always watching the most current video because I'm changing my iNav settings. I'm changing this, I'm changing that. So you always just have to pay attention and uh, be up to date, I should say. So I think we will end it at that. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed the OSD. It was pretty freaking sweet. And we'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.